Hi, I'm Bob Mangello from Silk Screen Now. Um, I've been showing people how to print t-shirts, how to build your own equipment for over 20 years. And today, um, I am going to show you how to build a mini conveyor dryer. It's a kit that I've created after a lot of demand over the years. I finally uh, figured out how to make a kit that's affordable so you can uh, build your own and save a lot of money. Um, I do make a small six color printer. I call it the blue diamond printer and I do make flash dryers. These are all available on my website. The prices are affordable. I also show you how to make exposure unit uh, for $25. This will save you a lot of money. But anyway, let me get to uh, going on the mini conveyor. I call it the American Eagle mini dryer, mini conveyor dryer. And so the first thing you want to do, you're going to buy some things from Home Depot. First thing is you're going to buy some 2 by 4s two of them, uh, uh, at least eight foot long. And you want to buy them that uh, the 2 by 4s make sure they're dry not wet and if they're dry they'll be light this way after a while they won't warp and cause you trouble later on especially with a conveyor dryer so make sure it's dried out so you want two two by fours cut at 48 inches we want two two by fours cut at 20 inches and we want two inch white pvc cut at 20 inches uh, then you want to buy four lag bolts. These are 10 inches, half inch lag bolts. You see they have a point on the end, a lot of thread. I'm going to use these as legs. Now you can use just two by fours for legs if you want. You don't have to buy these, but have a look at what I do and maybe it will make sense. Uh, if you want to, um, this is, so it'll, it'll sit on a table. And the, the whole dryer is about four and a half feet long. It's going to be 20 inches wide. It's going to have an 18 by 18 inch flash dryer inside. So that means it's going to dry an 18 inch area. And the belt will be 18 inches long. And so that's plenty uh, of space to put a t-shirt on and run it through a conveyor dryer. <clears throat> All right, the next step, um, I painted the 2 by 4s um, and so the next thing I want to do is show you where to drill um, the holes for uh, th that are going to hold the, uh, the rollers for the conveyor. Okay, so I have my square set here at 1 and 1 eighth. So what we're going to do is take our marker and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I marked both of them, one and one eighth down to the top. Make sure I did that right. You don't wanna you don't wanna flip this over and mark the right side. Your rollers are set at one and one eighth is the center. Uh, and you'll see as I put it together. And also I want to go to the center of the uh, two by four, which would be three quarter
Okay, let's see if you can see this. Hmm. I'm going to move it around so you can see it in the light. Okay, so we're one and one eighth down and we're centered. We're going to drill a three eighths inch hole. And, uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that next. Okay, so I marked one and one eighth inch down and drew a line and I drew a line center. All right. I know the light, the sunlight's a little bright. Now I'm going to put a little pilot hole. I'm just going to mark the center on all these. Because when you, if you, my next bit is a 3 8 If you don't try to center the hole, it might drift off. And you want to keep as true especially up and down one and one eighth inch you don't want it to drift down uh, because you want the rollers you know you don't need them crooked so we're going to try to do our best to keep it um, Straight. Now, I'm going to draw a one-eighth or a three-eighths inch hole as straight as possible. You don't want it to be crooked one way or the other, so you really want to make sure Build a 3 8 inch hole straight into it. Okay, so I did that the whole length. And you'll see why I did that. I'm going to do the same on all four sides. Really look, make sure you're drilling straight. You want to do all four sides, or both boards. Now the next thing we want to do is um, take the first part of the kit, which is the aluminum base that looks like this. And I, I want to tell you, I made it all aluminum because when you have heat, when you have something to heat up and then cool down, it brings a lot of moisture. And if the flash dryer or any of those parts are metal doesn't take long for it to start rusting and you probably I don't know if you have a metal flash dryer you'll know after three or four years you open it up it's totally rusty so I use aluminum just you know it, it costs a little more but uh, uh, it, it really is is a better uh, long-lasting uh, 
metal to use around heat. Okay, so see how I set those, these sides? Okay, the other thing is very important. We're going to flip this around so it's a top. So the holes are one and one eighth inch down. This must be flipped over. Okay, so, so when you're looking at it, the one and one eighth inch three eighths hole is on the bottom part, uh, is toward the bottom. Uh, you don't want to uh, screw that up because you'll have to take it all apart. Um, okay, so you're going to take your 20 inch 2x4s and set it just like that. You're going to measure 13 inches. Okay, 13 inches and that'll be 13 inches as well. So now we're going to use um, the star bit and use uh, deck screws, which I'm going to provide in the kit. So, even though it's wood and all that, I like to drill a pilot hole. And so we're going to drill two pilot holes. For each uh, for each side here, I'm using a one eighth inch drill bit. And like I said, I'm going to provide these. They're a star bit uh, head, but uh, most drill, uh, when you get a set of drills, I want to make sure I... Okay, it's still 13 inches. Most drill sets, uh, with Phillips head and all that will have a star bit. Okay. Well, we have it upside down. I want to put the legs on. So we're going to use a one quarter inch drill bit to
to make it pilot hold. I'm just kind of generally putting it center. To this 2x4. Now let me go over there. So that's a quarter inch bit. So now, let's see. I might have to go to 3 eighths, actually. So I'm gonna, um, let's see how 3 eighths. Yeah, I think a 3 8 uh, pilot hole is going to be better. So, these are the legs. So I'm going to adjust it down to about 8 inches. These are 10 inch leg bolts. What's good about using these is if you have an un, uh, a surface that's not really um, level, you can adjust these legs, each one, uh, so it, it will... Uh, So it will uh, stay level. Alright, those are set. So I'm using a 3 8 inch uh, drill and these are half inch lag bolts that are 10 inches. So basically I'm adjusting it down about 2 inches in so it leaves 8 inches out. Okay, so I'm going to adjust this so it's level, see, a little more. So, we have our basic uh, frame, I'm going to dust this all up, and then we're going to show you the next step in putting together the conveyor dryer. <clears throat> uh, 
All right, so we're ready for uh, the next step. And so I want to uh, go over, we're going to put the motor side of the rollers on. In your package, you're going to get one of these with a bushing in it, okay? On the other side of the roller, there will not be a bushing. On the motor side, you need the bushing one. And um, so you're going to put a washer on. You're simply going to put it in there. And what that's for is to adjust the roller in and out. So we're going to be adjusting that once we put the conveyor belt on. But basically, I have it out far enough um, so this will uh, not hit this. So um, that's, I don't know, a few inches. But the other thing is, I'm going to send the whole roller. <clears throat> Early on, I said go ahead and cut one of these for both sides. But on the motor side, I had to epoxy all this on because this roller cannot spin, spin freely. It has to, um, uh, the, the rod has to be connected to the motor <clears throat> in, in order for the, this roller to spin. So you only have to cut one of these for your kit. You know, I'm trying to eliminate the weight in shipping in most of this so we can keep the shipping costs down so you do the heavy stuff so, but anyway, the roller will come already put together for the motor side. Now, I'm going to move the camera, but basically, uh, and show you how I put the motor on, but basically I'm going to slide this end. Okay, so that's got to be able to spin. The rod will be spinning. And um, <clears throat> then we're going to attach the motor. Let me show you how. Now look at this, we're doing it on the left hand side. That's important because the motor will spin this way and so the conveyor belt. Uh, well, there's no way that you, you actually have to put it on the right side. So anyway, I'm going to move the camera now and show you how I put the motor on. I think that'll be clear enough. All right, so here's the motor bracket. It's going to come just like this. This will probably be painted. Uh, this is a prototype, so a lot of the fabrication will be cleaner, and um, you know, you'll, you'll, I'll have pictures of that. But uh, for my prototype, you know, I, I'm just uh, making things uh, uh, to put it all together. Okay, so. On the roller, there's two Allen wrench settings, and so you're going to slide that in there. And I am going to, on the prototype, I am going to uh, put a few, oh, wait, I need to get my drill ready, hold on. So. More than likely on the one I send you will have a plate right here and they'll just sit here and you're going to put two uh, screws to hold it down here. It'll be very simple. Uh, but basically you don't want the roller hitting this so space it. Make sure you, you leave a little bit of a gap. Now this, you can adjust that side to go in or out but not the motor side. Once you set this, this is where it's going to sit. So, I'm going to do this. Put a couple of spacers. Oops. Well, this is going real smooth. You, you won't have to have spacers um, when I send uh, your kit out. This is just something I'm doing because uh, 
a few adjustments um, that I need to make. <laughs> well, I'm not having very much luck. So what I'm going to do is just do this. I'm going to set that on there. Okay, I had to put some spacers uh, because I I didn't adjust this properly when I epoxied it. But when you get this, it's simply going to have a plate on top. You're just going to set it on there, push it again, and put two little screws there. But uh, but you get the idea. Now you're going to take your Allen wrench because you want this to be tightened, and there'll be a flat part on the motor shaft but you want that to be tightened because you don't want this to slip the the motor's going to go around and uh and turn this now the other thing is you can adjust this side in and out because when you put your conveyor belt on you want to be able to adjust this so it doesn't drift one way or the other Okay, so we got the motor on, so the next step will be to put the heating um, element on, and, um, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adjust the camera to do that. cardboard box here that's six and a half inches and that's to set the uh, heat you'll see what I'm doing in a minute but basically the heat panel can really go wherever you set it I'm setting it at six and a half inches and so when I run some t-shirts through um, we'll see if that's too low or too high we might have to lower it uh, in order to dry the t-shirt properly but for the, for this demonstration I just want to show you I'm using a cardboard box and so what we're going to do I'm just using that because uh Basically, it, it's just easier to, to uh, put the, uh, the, the heating panel on there, that's all. So now, changing my drill bit. Okay, so, so we have it set, and I've, I've centered it. 
on uh, for the aluminum thing. So now it's a simple, okay, this is aluminum. I wanted to tell you also about aluminum. This will all be, uh, again, this is a prototype. So um, you're going to see some changes in the fabrication when I get into production. It'll be um, uh, aesthetically a, a lot prettier, but uh, I want to tell, and stronger too. Um, but I wanted to tell you, in dealing with aluminum, we buy it brand new, but as we're working with it, it scratches. So if, when you get this, there'll probably be scratches on it. It's not going to hurt anything. It just means that I had to move it around. And, um, uh, but the reason I use aluminum instead of metal is because the, as this heats up, and it um, cools down, it brings moisture, and so metal rust, if you look at any old conveyor dryers or flash dryers, they're literally rusty. And so all my flash dryers, all my heating stuff is aluminum. It does arrive scratch, but it's still aluminum, it's strong, it's, it's, uh, it's durable, and, uh, and that's just the way it is when you work with aluminum. Okay, so. The other thing I wanted to point out, you can drill your own holes. These are just simply little flat screws, which I'll include in there. But you can drill holes wherever you want in this to raise and lower it. Um, so I pre-drilled those holes. Um, and I'll probably have two holes uh, in the fabrication. I'll probably have two holes for you already. But, um, but if I don't, it's simply just drill uh, Two holes, that's all you need. And we're going to do that on both sides. We'll find the other screws somewhere around here. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so these are the, the screws I'm using to hold that up. They're, you know, real uh, three-quarter inch screws. Okay, all set. Okay, now we're going to hook the wires up. Very simple to the motor, okay? Not a big deal. We're gonna take this. We're simply gonna put this over the top, put those screws in. So this little box, now this will probably be made out of metal because there's no heat around here and so I'll probably have that made out of metal uh, and you'll simply just attach it. And I'll provide the screws and the holes will already be drilled. These are tech screws, they have a little drill bit on the end. But I'll have already uh, have some free hold, uh, drills hold there. Drill. So, 
I'm actually drilling the holes right now with this. Uh, and you won't have to do that. All right, so now we're going to turn the dryer on its side. And let me give you a close-up of the wiring. Alright, there's going to be two wires from the motor and it does not, and you're going to have two wires from this side and you're simply, it doesn't matter which wire you connect to which one, you're just going to connect them You're just going to, there'll be two wires with either orange caps or, or I might even make a plug where you just plug one into the other. That's probably what I'll do. And you're just going to connect those two. You're not going to fool around with these three red caps. You're not going to open them or anything like that. And you're going to connect the two. I need just to be close. All right, so two wires from the motor go to these two black wires. And again, I'll, and you want to push them out of the way. This little thing has to spin around. So um, I will make it easier. I'll probably put a plug in there just so you plug each. It doesn't matter which one. So that's connected. So now let's flip this over. Okay, so <coughs> I'm going to remove this cardboard box because we don't want it to burn. That was an empty cardboard box. Okay, so basically, there you go. Um, you have an on-off switch, some little bit of an option. And then there's an on-off switch for the heat panel right here. So now our next thing is to, um, I'm waiting for the professional conveyor belt to come in and then I'll also be to show you how to make your own conveyor belt. Um, so that's the next step in this video. <clears throat> okay so we have the motor side set 
now we come to the back part of the uh, the dryer and you're gonna get two of these things they literally slip in you see when you turn this bolt it adjusts it in and out so <clears throat> what's gonna happen I'm gonna send you your you're only going to cut one of these to the length I told you in the beginning. Um, I'm going to send you this cap and it'll have a brass bushing in it. Okay, this rod needs to be able to spin. So I'm going to send you this rod, the two end caps with bushings. And so you're going to put the rod in, the bushings, and you're going to simply going to put, basically it's probably better to put that like that. But anyway, you're going to put the roller on so it spins on the back like that. Okay, now, this is the conveyor belt I made. And I'm going to show you how to make your own. Costs maybe $50 to make. And, in the, and uh, on my website, there'll be an option to buy this if you want me to make it. And then there'll be an option to buy a uh, Teflon coated uh, belt as well um, but I tested this out this is screen material just from a screen door aluminum and this edging uh, is a Teflon ribbon that you sew on just with a normal sewing machine and then I just got an 18 inch zipper but like I said I'll make a video and show you how to make this so we're going to put this belt on and then we're just gonna uh, zip it together so you want to adjust this in and then simply take the zipper and run the zipper. Now, it took me a about 10 minutes to adjust this and adjust the other side for the belt to stay, you know, so it won't travel one way or the other. Um, uh, um, so, and I, I set it up, but basically that's it. That's your conveyor dryer. You see I lowered this real low so the heat panel can dry uh, the t-shirt. Uh, when the belt is on, it, you can put a t-shirt on, it takes about 30 seconds for a shirt to go through. So literally every 30 seconds uh, that goes by, you'll have another t-shirt dried. So anyway, it's a cool little dryer.
Hi. <laughs> okay, I wanted to finish uh, up this video with uh, a few things. Number one, how to make your own conveyor belt. Now, um, it's a funny story. Years ago, I, I visited somebody's uh, shop, and they had a really big conveyor dryer. It's probably four foot wide and maybe 20 foot long. And he, the conveyor belt he had was made from screen door material, aluminum, not plastic. Make sure you get a, the aluminum metal. And he had, he had it there, and, and I looked at it and I said, how long have you been using that? And he said, for years, he said, because the, the other, when you buy it, it's pretty expensive. So for this little conveyor dryer, it's $250 for uh, um, a Teflon mesh professional conveyor belt. And uh, if you want to get that, I'm going to have that as an option. Uh, and I'll have them drop ship it right to you. Um, basically, uh, it, they say it takes about two weeks. I'm still waiting. I ordered one, and I'm still waiting for it. It's been a couple of weeks now, so it, it may take longer. But you do have another option. Um, I will make the, you know, I have uh, a seamstress that, that made this for me, and I'll explain it here in a minute. Uh, but I'll have these available, too, if you don't want to make your own. But basically, there's a Teflon tape you buy from Uline. You buy a whole roll. It's about $30. This is really reasonable at Home Depot. You want to get a piece that is 112 inches long, and you're going to cut it 18 inches wide, and you're going to sew this. You're going to fold this Teflon tape Oh, I see it peeled off. Oh, okay, it actually, it actually sticks. I didn't notice that, but it actually sticks. So you can fold it over and then, um, I'll bring this closer to the camera, but she folded it over and put a hem all the way around it. And then, um, I bought an 18 inch metal zipper, don't buy a plastic one, but a metal zipper to actually connect it. So, but basically you put that hem all the way around it. So, I think you can do it for under $50, make your conveyor belt. And, um, and if you have a bigger, uh, 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 conveyor and you want me to make this for you, you know, uh, I'll figure out a price for it, but it's going to be a, a lot less to have me do it, or you can do it yourself. Uh, because those, the uh, other conveyor belts, I mean, basically you're just putting a t-shirt on and moving it through. You don't need some heavy duty thing. You're not moving rocks or anything like that. Anyway, so that's it. That's the mini conveyor. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you look at how I did it, maybe you can figure out how to do it on your own. That's fine too. Uh, the kit I have, uh, I've already, um, you know, the, the one you're seeing in the video is, is totally a prototype. I kind of did it as I went along, but once I did it, I figured out what, what, uh, you know, how to do it uh, better. Uh, I always do that in all my work. Uh, but basically already the, the, uh, the aluminum we're using is uh, now is an 18 gauge. It's a lot stronger. And this is one of the sides. So I, I actually bend, uh, had them bend it so it'll be, you know, sturdier in that. And it'll look a lot nicer, you know because we figured it all out. So I hope you visit my website. Like I said, um, the, I'm going to post this today. It's February 16th, Sunday, 2020. And so we should have 
prices and a, a way to buy this kit in the next day or two on my website. Just keep checking back. Um, uh, if you need uh, any information, just email me. And, um, you know, if you want to uh, uh, get something going right away, you're excited about this, uh, let me know. Uh, basically, give me about five days for putting it together and shipping it. So if you place an order, uh, you know, give me, give me a few days to assemble it all. Um, and that is about it. My website is silkscreennow.com. And um, my email is bob.mongello at gmail.com. And uh, this will, you'll see this on the video, I'll put it at the end of the video. Um, I sell flash dryers, a really cool little printer that can print six colors. I've been doing that for years and to this day people order all the time. Uh, I've gotten, uh, you know, just thousands of people in the business because I keep it simple, I keep it reasonable. And uh, basically, I love entrepreneurs, people uh, that are trying to figure out how to make a little extra money um, from home. Uh, you know, the, you know, my interest is making sure that you don't spend a whole lot of money on things you really don't need. So if you watch my other videos, I show you how to print t-shirts and that. And uh, I think you'll like them. They're very simple. And I keep everything simple. And when I make things, I make it so you can take them apart, look at them, repair them. Um, so basically, that's about it. And I appreciate you uh, watching this video. Thanks.